and ain't the prettiest. But it'll do it. Alright, where'd the scissors go? Let's open them up again. And that procedure right there is not a professional, I'm going to put it in, but it works for me. Right. <laughs> what it is, is that I'm sure there is a proper, some proper material, and we just, we don't have it, and so we're improvising. conductor there you go all right again the cool thing is you're getting ready to do about 10 of these mm -hmm. um there's still things we can play with right um i i have been centering these pieces of tape on that flat right there uh -huh. okay but it might actually, you know, repositioning that somewhere else might actually improve output. Probably not exponentially, but a little bit. All right, so so that's that's it for the wiring portion. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, just got to get all the debris out now. All right, and then uh, oh, I did that again. What happened? Oh, uh, well, we got to peel this damn tape off. Oh. And I heat shrink. I heat shrink. Uh, have you got a razor blade handy uh, anywhere? Uh, okay. Uh, yep. Okay. Although, you don't want to. Cut too far. Right, right. Because cause this, this, this adhesive tape is also acting as an insulator. So, see that? Mm -hmm. See, it, um, I mean, that's just like what we were soldering on, but the adhesive is on there. Right. So that's what keeps us from shorting that out. All right, so in the initial measurement, I had this tape about a half inch from the rivet hole. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're going to put it. and straight about like that okay oh this end doesn't have anything hey, on it hey that? that's handy yeah <laughs> it bound to win one every now and then right yeah the only problem is getting the shit to start this there we go there we go come on you gotta be careful sometimes the damn adhesive will come with it right so I mean it's it's pretty amazing how it's actually a pretty simple procedure. It is. It is. Is it, but but it, you have to do it a couple of times. Yeah. And 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 then streamline it, you know. See, like, like I used to cut and splice, and and there was crimp tools involved, and mm -hmm. and and now, there you go. You you replaced your fluorescent tubes, okay. And all of these components are potential failure points, okay. Now towards that end, mm -hmm. all right. I did the first one earlier this morning. Right. We go and we install it. The one right next to it was this one, and it had the LED upgrade tubes in it. Right. But they weren't working. Right. Because something in here failed. Right. Gone. Gone. 
The only thing that can fail on this now is your soldering mm -hmm. or the switch. Right. Okay? And that's, that's how you do that. Now, uh, oh, yeah, here. While we're here, although this is expensive, here. <laughs> I'm just taking the, this right here mm -hmm. and laying it over all these rivet holes. So any dirt and dust and crap that's up there right. in that cabinet will not end up in your lens. That just keeps the dust out. Once you get it up in the cabinet, nobody will see that. Right. sitting here these are these are attached to the to the uh, the harness in the lounge with wire nuts so we might as well strip them while we're here all right let's go install it all right all right come on Oh. Oh, you. No. Okay. What all you need? Oh, you ain't got enough hands. No, we're good. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Now, this damn video, I might get it uploaded by tomorrow. Okay. Because as long as it is, it's going to take like eight hours to right. upload. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, is there is there any any information that you can volunteer that you know how fans are? What would you they, like to know? Uh, who's driving these damn things? Can't put that out yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I, I don't know. No, I, I know you don't. Let's see. We're Chevrolet. We we yes, got we Chevrolets. Yeah. Who um, who builds our engines? ECR. Okay. Earnhardt Childress. Power. Earnhardt Childress. Yep. All right. We got uh, okay. satellite trailers. Yep. All right. We can talk about our trucks. So this is the one I just did. You can see. Oh yeah. 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 Okay, and I also put that reflector back in there. Right. Okay. So that yep. reflector does that like make it seem brighter? Well, that, that I I just I've always assumed the light that's going to the side right will probably get wasted. The reflector will knock it. That yeah right. Okay. All right. So now this is a twelve volt system we're working on. You want me to hold the camera for you? Yeah. Okay. All right. And I cut. I cut. The wire so so I know white and black. So now now towards that end, okay. There's nothing supporting these wires except so I'm gonna here do it like that. Okay. Don't lay it up against the TV. Alright, it might get dark in here for a minute. <laughs> But anyway, this is all 12 volts here. This is not house wiring. So what's the difference between 12 volt and house wire? Uh, about 98 volts and yeah. alternating. Okay. Okay. Uh, this 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 is the voltage in your car. Okay. Okay. This is the voltage. That how can I put it? Uh, unless you've got jumper cables attached to your skin. And you're swimming in salt water. Uh, I, it, yeah, I'm not scared of it. 
Oh, look. Now, see this? Yeah, this. Yeah, oh, that's now, nasty. All that <laughs> black tape is making my fingers sticky. All right. Now, you see all... So, so here again, when we were... We were uh, soldering. Mm-hmm. Okay. You want to... You want a nice, pretty twist on there. Oh, come on. Yeah, that definitely was not it. Yeah. Hold on. Of course, they were locked, too. So there. Okay, so we're going to make it. And what it was, they were probably twisted nice and pretty when the guy put the the nut on, the, the, the wire nut on. Mm -hmm. And us disassembling it made a mess, so... So you were asking some questions on the way over here. About different things, team oh, related. Oh yeah, well, I, how can I put it? We're going to post this video, and I'm going. I, I'm just okay. I'm not a race fan, right? All right you understand that. Mm -hmm. I I simply love what I do. Absolutely. But I but, and and these guys will come up with all the questions that I can't answer because I'm too busy doing crap like this. <laughs> Okay, so so put yourself in a race fan's. All right, all right. What would you ask if 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 you were a race fan and you had the opportunity to talk to you? What would you ask you? Fair enough. Okay. So basically, um, you know, last year Captain Ron was on the Cup side. We're on the Xfinity side, which is kind of for people who don't know a whole lot about racing. It's the it would be like the college level to the pros in football. Yeah. Um, we have a two car team. Uh, the 07 and the 08, we run Chevrolets with uh, Earnhardt Childress Power. Um, we uh, have had a couple successful seasons. Um, we are what you could, could consider like a development uh, program for uh, talent um, when it comes to drivers. Uh, last year, we had a partnership with uh, Rick Ware for the 07 car, and Joe Graff Jr. drove the 08 Um Hey, a lot of people don't realize it, but Rick Ware has been in this business forever. Ever. Yes. Rick Ware has been around as long as I can remember yeah. and then some. Yeah. So. Pe people, okay, and, and it's just part of his, and don't get me wrong, I, I cannot say anything bad about Rick Ware, but part of his business model, mm -hmm. okay, building his empire has been running in the back. Yes. Okay, and that's simply... But maximizing ma maximizing your profits without spending a whole lot. Right. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and the thing is, is I think he's getting ready. I honestly believe he's getting ready to pull the chalks out. Oh yeah. 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 With their IndyCar program and that sports car program they've got, it's absolutely believable. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. Our um. Our trailers are both uh, Featherlights. I have a 2006 Featherlight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Ron's is a 2003 Featherlight. Yeah. Um, and and mine was originally a Fitz Bradshaw mm -hmm. deal, right? Yep. So the hauler that is that Supercuts or yes, it was the Supercuts, the purple and yellow. That's going to be the hauler that Ron has now. We're not sure what the wrap's going to be on it just yet. Yeah. Um, good chance it could be purple. Um, Mm -hmm. And then the trailer that I've got was actually bought originally for uh, Greg Alding by Dwayne when he was doing his uh, K&N racing and everything. Dwayne being? Dwayne Galding, his dad. Okay. So they had it for that. Well, you know, the trailer changed hands a couple times. Bobby bought it. Uh, Bobby Dotter, the team owner, bought it um, a couple years ago. Uh, it was actually the hauler that they used for Spencer Boyd's uh, grunt-style car. And then the following year, Greg Galding came and drove for Bobby and got his old trailer back for a year. <laughs> That's this trail? Yeah. So Very it's good. funny how that works yeah. oh, from time yeah. to time. Yeah, well, the, it, the equipment, it's... Uh, how can I put... I had... Uh, what, what am I trying to... Pedigree. Equipment with mm -hmm. pedigree. Um, I uh, was working for... I think it was Mach 1 Racing, which eventually turned into Bob Jenkins' front row. Uh, here, let's just... Uh, there. Hey, you got some light. All right. Uh, anyway, they had this... Have, have you seen the aluminum tire carts that Featherlight used to build as an accessory? 
for these trailers? I think so. Okay. So we have one of those laying around the shop. We had one of those laying around the shop. And uh, it was in rough shape. Okay. But it just needed some TLC, you know? And so I got the thing in the shop because it, it, I mean, somebody had thrown it out on a scrap heap. And all it needed was a couple of new tires and wheels and some TLC. Well, I, 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 picked, I got the thing up on the table and flipped it over. And lo and behold, across the bottom, which is down around your ankles, it said Junior Johnson and Associates. Oh, wow. And, and yeah, hell yeah. Why, <laughs> why is this on the scrap heap? It's, you know, it's it either A, should be in a museum, or, should, or B, it should still be out working. And so, yeah, yeah, you'd be amazed. I, uh, every once in a while, you know, hand tools mm -hmm. in the toolbox. You'd be amazed how they move around. Oh, for sure. And, and every one of them's got a somebody's initials or car number. Mm -hmm. And I've I've had some epic hand tools in my hands. <laughs> All right, that hole is stripped. And that's probably why I only have three screws. All right, so. Yeah, there's a good chance of that. I think it, uh, the one in front of that one had that too. Yeah. Oh. All right. Now, wipe this off. Have you got any glass cleaner around here? I do. Well, Paper towel? Hold on. Okay. All right. So anyway, there you go, guys. LED upgrade. And then this one. Are all of these fixtures got those LED tubes in them? Uh, yes, every one that is still up there should have them. Okay, so, so, um, yeah. I, 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 I'm, personally, I wouldn't shit can them tubes. Right. Um, but. But there's only one application form. Mm -hmm. uh, you might want to try an eBay them or something. But but what we've done, okay, so obviously this one had these LED tubes, but because it had the old circuitry in it, it failed. Okay? There's nothing in here to fail anymore. Right. Okay. So get that up in there. There's there's a couple of grooves. Oh, okay. Yeah, and just pinches in there like the like the lens does. Okay. All right. And then uh, here, use that one. Here. Okay. Hold on. Knock knock the crap out of it. Just flip oh, okay. it over and give it a shake or something. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Ten four. Right. Oh, what about your social media? So, if you guys want to follow the race team, um, we are SSGLR0708 on Twitter. And then you can hit us on Instagram or Facebook and just search SS Greenlight Racing. We'll keep up, you can keep up with everything going on. Anything that uh, Captain Ron posts on the YouTube channel, we'll probably share it there as well. Try to keep you guys informed on what we're doing this year. Yeah, 10-4. Okay, I just noticed something. Mm -hmm. And I have no issues with it, but I guarantee you, before we get back from Daytona, somebody's going to say something. These are a lot brighter than those. No. No. <laughs> Check out the switches. Oh, yeah, the backwards. Well, one of them is. Yeah. Okay. This one well, turns off to the outside. Is. This one turns off to the outside. This one comes this way. Yep. All right. Now the thing is, you see how that one's black. Yeah. And this one, I like the red. Right. Out. Red hot makes sense. Yeah. So, but how are the rest of them? Uh, the rest are red out. 
Right out. Yep. Okay, so that one and that one are different. Yep. But I'm not going to tell you to do it. <laughs> All right, uh, Cubby. Thank you for putting up with my, with my no my. Problem. All right. I'm always looking to learn something. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we'll talk to y'all later. That's the LED upgrade. All right. Yeah, first of all, this needs to and pink. <laughs>